Tarius Rosati. I'd like to come back to the issue of uh, pu public access to the country-by-country -country reporting and uh, ask you what is your opinion on uh, the impact of this, uh, in case this uh, solution is adopted, what is the impact on the comparative, uh, c c comparative position of European companies or companies located in Europe vis-à-vis -vis companies uh, in other countries, especially in the U.S. and China? To what extent <coughs> This uh, 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 solution that would reveal the uh, tax information about those companies would put uh, European companies in a disadvantaged, in a disadvantaged position vis-à-vis -vis their foreign competitors. And a related question to this is, <clears throat> what is your opinion on the role of the Commission in this, uh, again, uh, in this process? So to what right now, as I understand, the Commission, the European Commission, will be responsible only for <coughs> uh, looking after the procedural uh, matters. Uh, to what extent do you think it would be advisable to have the Commission also <coughs> the right to have an access to those information? Would it be helpful in performing by the Commission its role of, <coughs> let's say, the guardian of this, of this directive? And the second question is on the, on the impact assessment again. Uh, I, as I understand, the ultimate goal of this uh, whole exercise is to make sure that multinational companies pay their fair share of taxes in Europe. Uh, as I understand, this would, at the end of the day, mean that they would have to pay higher taxes, effectively. Is there any assessment of the impact uh, uh, that would uh, make uh, on, the, uh, on those companies, especially is there a risk that some of those companies would decide to leave Europe and go to other <coughs> jurisdictions uh, in, uh, in result of this, uh, of this uh, let's say, the improvement in tax uh, collection in Europe? <coughs> the European Pfizer case. <laughs> the um, first, uh, uh, I repeat that what we are doing today um, is to, uh, to, to present the anti-tax uh, avoidance uh, package. And we are having, a, as far as CBCR is concerned, a two-step approach. In, in the first approach, and that's what your report will be about, we are uh, implementing uh, the uh, standards uh, already proposed by the OECD, and we will limit ourselves uh, to the uh, exchange of information between tax administration. And I think it's wise and also mandatory to do so. Uh, then, later on, in April, we'll have to come back with a proposal uh, on uh, publicity on CBCR. I don't know what this proposal will be made of, because, as I said, uh, it relies on the conclusions, which I don't know today, of the impact assessment, which is uh, actually uh, led by the services of uh, my colleague, Jonathan Hill, FISMA. Uh, as I said, I myself, and I'm not the only one in the Commission, I'm favorable to this publicity, but we'll have a pragmatic approach taking into account precisely the question that we, uh, you, you raised, which is to know whether uh, this could be uh, uh, hostile to competitiveness of our business. And uh, my answer would be quite clear. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, if the impact, which is very difficult to uh, calculate, uh, is important, we should not make it right now. Uh, if it appears that there is no contradiction between competitiveness and transparency, we should move on uh, fast. Um, but I, I, I believe that uh, uh, fair com conditions uh, for a level playing field um, uh, is in line with our uh, work against uh, double taxing, and this is a, a counterweight to the risks that could exist on competitiveness. Um, as far uh, as uh, the role of the Commission, uh, I'm always uh, favorable to more role of the Commission in those matters. That's what we finally obtained uh, on the Directive on uh, Tax Rulings. Uh, it's clear that the Commission cannot, uh, at, the same, at the time, participate uh, to an exchange of view between two uh, member states which are interested. But the point to know whether uh, the Commission should or should not be, I would say, the warrant of the uh, directive is a good question, and I imagine that you may raise this issue in your report, and I would certainly welcome 
uh, some support from the European Parliament on this point. I think it would be useful not only for the Commission but for the general European interest.